The 21st century is the century of ocean. However, ocean exploration and development is characterized by high technology, high risk, and high investment. How to integrate the multi-channel information and how to coordinate multi-institutional infrastructure. Uh, the major challenges in ocean and climate science right now. We need to be able 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 to be to be able 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 to be The establishment of Marine National Lab was approved by China's Ministry of Science and Technology in 2013. And National Lab is in the best position to pursue synergy for ocean research through gathering resources at home and abroad. Qingdao National Laboratory for Marine Science and Technology focuses on advancing both fundamental and cutting-edge research by integrating resources and talent, forging partnerships and sharing major facilities worldwide. QNM is designed to cover nearly all marine disciplines. We have been working on issues such as ocean observation, resource utilization, and marine ecological environmental protection. To pursue solutions to those global challenges, we are leveraging the state-of-art technologies to support relevant research. QNM activity promotes the construction of the third ocean drilling vessel in the world, with the aim to break through the Earth's crust and enter the mantle. High Performance Computing Center provides technological support of computing science, artificial intelligence, and big data. QNM sets four types of research units, functional labs focusing on fundamental research, joint labs focusing on technologies, open studios invite teams worldwide to conduct projects, and overseas research centers for collaborative research. We integrate resources, and a professional team all over China to conduct the research. The Laboratory for Marine Mineral Resource focus on four research fields, marine gas hydrate, oil and gas, solid minerals, and the key technology for marine mineral detection. Our lab established this technical system for the gas hydrate in the water for the first time uh, in 2017. Results has played an important role in the gas hydrate production test in China. The functional laboratory for ocean and climate dynamics focuses on the structure, dynamics, and variability of oceanic processes in the coastal seas, the open and the deep oceans associated with climate change and environmental change. For example, the uh, temperature, salinity, circulation, response, and feedback to climate variation in the China Seas and the Western Pacific. Interdisciplinary and collaborative research is essential in this lab since the scientific issues associated with climate change are so complicated and uh, comprehensive. We aim to build high resolution Earth system model to simulate the environmental changes over the past 25,000 years with light of Taihu supercomputer through cross-disciplinary collaboration. The Infrastructure and the Innovation Center for Marine Drug Screening and Evaluation in QLM has united over 20 research teams from five countries including China, US, UK, France, and Spain. This is the first time in the world to screen active drug molecules in such a large scale. Qingdao is home to 30% of China's marine institutions, as well as 50% of its marine talents. Qingdao Haiyang Kuei Jishu Guajia Xian Shi, Wei Yu Zhong Guo, Qingdao Lan Gu, Huang Hai Zhibin. Qingdao Lan Gu is a Haiyang Wei QNM has established a number of open infrastructures for marine research, 
scientists worldwide can access such infrastructures as the world's fastest supercomputing center in marine field and the research vessel fleet to support their research. We highly value international collaboration. To facilitate our cooperation among the global marine community, we have held two rounds of Global Ocean Summit, gathering over 200 leaders of top marine institutions worldwide. We gathered top scientists and engineers worldwide. We launched the Ocean Talent Program to provide the most enabling research environment for scientists. We are establishing overseas research centers with the world's best marine institutes, working with Australia's CSIRO. We launched the International Center for Southern Hemisphere Ocean Research. I'm looking forward to world-leading integrated marine research center to tackle the most pressing global challenges and conducting cutting-edge research for the benefit of humanity.